camera set. All right, back projection. Cue music. And action! Hollywood legends Mr. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy arrived in Britain today as they embarked on a national tour. We're doing this while we're waiting for this new picture to come together. I'm going to make sure that this tour gets off on the right foot. There it is, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's amazing that you two are still going strong, still using the same old material. There they are. Such a wonderful reception, isn't it, Ida? It's okay. Two double acts for the price of one. <laughs> Pretty empty last night. I guess people just don't want to see Laurel and Hardy anymore. It's even pushing you a little too hard, babe. You know, Stan. You could have said goodbye, Oliver, a long time ago. We had a good thing going, but you had this big chip on your shoulder because I did a picture with someone else. I couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. You're just a lazy ass. Got lucky because you met me. Lucky to spend my life with a man who hides behind his typewriter? You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. You're hollow. You cannot go on stage again in your condition. I love you, but I won't stand by and watch this nutty tour put you in a wooden box. I should never have had us take this tour. I love him, Ida. You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must go on. <laughs> When you watch our movies, it was just the two of us. All we had was each other. <laughs> she never regret Rianne. And you shouldn't regret Rianne either. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stan Laurel and Mr. Oliver Hardy. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you.